This episode, we will explain the dynamic, the ribbon, and the condenser microphone. We will introduce the electrical magnetic law of induction and the electrostatic principle. Microphones come in a variety of types. They can be directional, non-directional, large or small diaphragm, dynamic, condensers, ribbons, etc. A simple guidance will help you sort out this mess, but first, let's have a look at the basics of how a microphone works. Devices that convert a mechanical or other measurable energy into an electrical one, or vice versa, are called transducers. Examples of transducers are microphones and loudspeakers. Microphones are transducers that convert mechanical energy, the sound, into electrical energy, voltage or current. At the center of microphone theory, we have the principle of electromagnetic induction. This principle was demonstrated by Michael Faraday in the 1830s. If a magnet is moved through the center of a coil of wire, an electric current is induced in the wire which is proportional to the magnet's motion. Moving the conductor twice as fast produces twice the voltage. Let's see how the different types of mics work. The most common microphones for musical use are dynamic, ribbon and condenser microphones. They can be designed with different directional patterns and different impedances. The dynamic mic is the direct consequence of the Faraday's law. In this type of microphone, the diaphragm is attached to the coil, thus, when the diaphragm vibrates in response to incoming sound waves, the coil moves backwards and forwards. Because the coil is surrounding a magnet, the movement creates a current in the coil which is channeled through the wires. Here are some of the most famous dynamic mics. Because the moving coil is heavy, this mic is less sensitive than the other types of microphones, which makes it good for applications with high sound pressure levels. Ribbon mics operate under the same principle of electromagnetic induction. In ribbon microphones, a narrow strip, generally aluminium, is suspended within the field of a strong permanent magnet. When sound waves cause the ribbon to vibrate within the field, the motion of the ribbon cuts the lines of the magnetic force and causes a current to be induced in the ribbon. Since aluminium conducts electricity, this rather small current is available at the ends of the ribbon and can be sent down a cable and amplified. They do not require external power, but they have much lower sensitivity than condensers. Ribbons can be destroyed in an instant if you blow into them. Condenser means capacitor, and a capacitor is an electronic component that stores energy in the form of electrostatic field. The term condenser is actually obsolete, but that stuck as the name for this type of mic which uses a capacitor to convert acoustical energy into electrical energy. A capacitor has two plates with a voltage between them. In the condenser mic, one of the plates is made of a very light material and acts as the diaphragm. The diaphragm vibrates when struck by sound waves, changing the distance between the two plates and therefore changing the capacitance. When the plates are closer together, capacitance increases and a charge current occurs. When the plates are further apart, capacitance decreases and a discharge current occurs. A voltage is required across the capacitor for this to work. This voltage is supplied either by a battery in the mic or by external phantom power. Here are some of the most famous condenser mics. If you're careful with the sound pressure levels of the sources, the applications for these mics can include the whole of the audio spectrum.